Hey guys, welcome back for another Razer keyboard lighting design video. For this design, I decided to answer a request that I got on my Instagram. And this request was from a user named Cadman. He wanted to know if I could recreate a Razer Synapse 2 profile. This is a design that was made and it was posted on the Razer Chroma Profiles YouTube channel. Here's what that looks like. And I know it's kind of hard to see what's going on with the profile, especially for only an 11 second video, but I'm gonna dive right in and I'm gonna show you guys a Razer Synapse 3 version of this design and I'm gonna show you how I created it for modern Razer keyboards. As always, there will be a download link in the description below where you can go to my website and download this profile and get it on your modern Razer Synapse 3 devices. But if you wanna see how I made it, we're gonna dive right into how I did that. This is Magic Keys. All right, guys, here is the Magic Keys profile, and we are going to make this profile brand new from a fresh start. First of all, we're going to be doing this in the studio window. If you don't have the studio tab in your Synapse window, go to the Synapse tab, go to modules, and make sure you install the Chroma Studio. Once that's installed, go ahead and click back into the studio window, and you can start creating a profile so to start a brand new profile go ahead and press these three dots and we're going to click that add button this will give us a brand new fresh profile and it will rename it to chroma effects one or two or three or however many chroma effects you have now the first thing we're going to do with this profile is we're going to click on these three dots in here in our effect layers next to spectrum cycling click those three dots and we're going to change this effect layer to a wave and now next we're just going to double click on any of our lighting zones which will select all of the lighting zones that have that effect on it. And we're gonna hit the delete key. We're gonna focus in on the keyboard. So I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna scroll wheel in a couple times. So with this wave layer selected, we're going to hold control and I'm gonna select specifically the keys that he has lit up in the design video for his red color, which is going to be these keys right here. So with these keys selected, we're gonna click on our color drop down over here, and we're gonna choose this five node pattern, the yellow, black, and green one right here. With this pattern selected, we're gonna click on this first node, and we're gonna change this to orange. The second node, we're gonna change to red, Third node, we're gonna to change to orange. And these last two nodes here, we're gonna hit the delete key, this trash can to remove these nodes. So you only have these three nodes and they're on the left side, uh, orange with red in the middle. Click off of that window. We're gonna keep our speed at 15. We're gonna change our width to 70. Keep our angle at 90 degrees here. Everything else is gonna remain the same. We're gonna hit save. So now we're gonna select off into this gray area to deselect all the keys. We're gonna hold control and we're just gonna select all of the keys that don't have an effect on them. So here I've chosen every lighting zone that does not have an effect layer on them. We're gonna click on our color drop down, and we're once again gonna choose this five node pattern. We're gonna delete the first two nodes here. The third node we're gonna make orange, middle node we're gonna make red, and the last node we're also gonna make orange. Click off of that window. We're gonna keep our speed at 15 change our width to 70 once again, keep our angle the same, everything's the same, just hit save. So now you can see you kind of have an orange and red wave pattern going to the right. That's all we're gonna do for this layer and we're gonna go up here to our effect layers, double click on that and we're gonna change this to orange slash red. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this effect layer and we're gonna duplicate that layer. With this new layer that just got created, we're gonna double click, change the name to green slash blue. So with this new green slash blue effect layer, we're going to make sure we have it selected and we're gonna come down here to our control key and just double click. It'll select all of the keys that have the same effect on it. We're gonna click on our color drop down, and we're gonna make this first node green. The second node we're gonna make blue. Third node we're gonna make green again and we're gonna click off of that. We're gonna keep our speed at 15 Width is gonna stay at 70, but we're gonna change our angle to 270 degrees, so going the opposite direction now. Also, on our playback options, we're gonna click on our start, 
we're going to change to on selected keys. So using on selected keys as a playback option means that your effect layer isn't going to start showing until you press one of the keys that has that effect on it. And likewise with the end, it won't end until you press one of the keys that has that effect. So now that we've changed our playback, we're going to hit save and we're going to double click on the other keys that are orange and we're going to click on this color drop down. Same thing. Outside nodes, we're going to make green. The inside node, we're going to make blue. Click off of that window, change our angle to 270 and we're going to change our start to on selected keys. We're going to change our end to on selected keys and we're going to hit save. So guys, in the Razor Chroma Profiles video, you can see he presses the A, H, and the Enter key. So you can see if I do that now on this keyboard, I'll press the A key, the H key, and then the Enter key. So it goes from multicolored keyboard to orange and red, and then finally to being a green and blue keyboard. So now you can see that with this design, you get the same exact kind of effect that you get in the Magic Keys original for Razer Synapse 2. If you guys have other Razer Chroma devices, this is how I set up my additional devices. For the two effect layers that you have over here for the orange and red, I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to duplicate that layer. And with this new layer up here, I'm going to double click and I'm just going to rename this to orange slash red devices. And I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag this down below these other two layers. Same thing with the blue, right click, duplicate that layer, rename this layer to green slash blue devices, drag that layer below the other layers, but make sure that the green devices layer is above the orange slash red devices. Now starting with the green slash blue devices layer, just click on one of these effects, choose one or the other, it doesn't matter which one, and we're just gonna hold Control and press C to copy that effect. And now you're just gonna go across all of your devices and select basically every other lighting zone. So here you guys can see I've gone across all of my devices and I've kind of used a checkerboard pattern. I've checked every other lighting zone that's available. And I'm gonna hold Control and hit the V key, which is going to paste our effect on these keys and because it's such a widespread area what you can do is change your width down to 50 percent make it a little bit less that way the wave layer is kind of split up into smaller sections and you get those lines showing a lot easier so we're going to paste in this green effect and then we're and then we're going to hit save and now you're going to double click on the other keyboard lighting key you're going to copy that select all of your other lighting zones paste that one in and then you gotta go to your orange layer and do the same thing on this one. Double click one, make half of your devices orange, double click the other one, make the other half of your devices the other type of orange and red. But that's gonna be it for how to make this keyboard lighting design. Here's the showcase to show you guys what it looks like on your desk.
thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't already that way you guys don't miss out on future razor keyboard lighting designs also if you guys have any requests at all anything you'd like to see on razor keyboards i do read a lot of your guys's comment and don't be afraid to leave a request in the comment section below i can't promise that i'm going to respond to every single request because some of you guys got some crazy stuff out there but i definitely love to see what you guys think should go on a razor keyboard lighting design that's going to do it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching as i said in the beginning there will be a download link in the description so check that out i'll see you guys in the next one